Okay, so, so, uh, can you see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, yes. they should actually make papers in dark mode because it's so annoying, you know, that basically my, my screen, it's like, uh, I like You want now. a dark mode? I have one, da there is extension. I use it very well, it means it will make your paper go dark. Let me give you the name. Oh. It's a dark reader. That, it's it. uh is it for ubuntu also ah yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's uh, i think uh, it was made by some what do you say mm -hmm. replicate guy i guess yeah yeah so so feel free to post the link in the chat i will use it um mm -hmm. on the next time okay so efficient vat uh mr robots said that this is not an easy paper uh so so let's try to to understand why it is not an easy paper. Uh, okay, efficient VAT, lightweight multi-scale attention for on-device semantic set cementation. Okay, already here, I don't know what multi-scale means, but probably you want to do attention on multiple scales, you know, because you're doing set segmentation and you probably want to use the inner features. I don't know. So, the abstract. Uh, semantic cementation enables many appealing real-world uh, uh, applications such as uh, co computational photography, autonomous driving, etc. However, the vast computational costs making the deployment state-of-the-art semantic cementation modern edge devices with a limited hardware resources difficult. This work presents efficient VAT, a new family of semantic cementation model with a novel lightweight multi-scale attention for on-device semantic cementation. Unlike prior semantic segmentation models that rely on heavily self-attention, hardware inefficient large kernels convolution or complicated topology structure to obtain good performances, our lightweight multi-scale attention achieves a, go a global research field and multi-scale learning to critical feature for semantic segmentation model with only lightweight and hardware efficient operation. Okay, that was a long sentence. As such, efficient VAT delivers remarkable performance gain over previous, previous state-of-the-art semantic segmentation model across popular benchmark dataset with significant speed up on the mobile platform. Without performance loss on cityscapes, our efficient VATs provide a 15x and 9.3x mobile latency reduction over SEG former and SEG next, respectively, maintaining the same mobile Latency, efficient VAT provide a plus seven um, MIOU gain on aid 20K over sec next. Okay. Well, huge claim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna say, that by looking at this, we can start from here. Probably a lot of repetition, I guess. Uh, the issue with reading papers is that you will find that a lot of parts are a repetition of the others because a all section have to be self uh, like close like I mean like self close so, like you need to be able to read the section and more or less know everything I guess. Uh, so let's say tier works introduction vision VAT a new, new family of models for on device semantic segmentation. The core of Efficient VAT is a novel lightweight multi-scale attention model that enables a global receptive field and multi-scale learning uh, with hardware efficient operation. Again, our model is motivated by prior SOTA semantic segmentation models. They demonstrate that multi-scale learning, which I don't know what it is, and global receptive field, another interesting word, uh, play a critical role in improving the performances for semantic segmentation. However, they, they do not consider our deficiency when designing their models, which is essential for on-device semantic uh, segmentation and also kind of in general. Uh, for example, SEGFORM may introduce self-attention into the backbone to have a global receptive field, but its computational convexity is quadratic to the input resolution up. This is not true because in SEGFORMER, uh, you have, if, if I'm not mistaken, SEGFORMER, you have a parameter, SEGFORMER, uh, you have a parameter that basically rescale the uh, attention, making it, let, let's say, more efficient. Basically, you trade off, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. 
So I don't really know why they're saying this is not quadratic. Like uh, in Sagformer, before you're doing the attention thing, you basically have a parameter that, that will um, reduce the dimension of the vectors and you can like kind of trade off, you know, efficiency for uh, speed. So it's not really quadratic. Uh, sec next proposal multi-branch modules with large kernel convolution, kernel size up to 21, that, 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 that's crazy, to enable a large receptive field and multi-scale learning. However, large kernel convolution requires, re requires exceptional support on hardware to receive good efficiency, which is usually not available on edge devices and usually it's not really so true like on normal let's say nvidia gpu um like it, like you if you use a kernel that is probably not a three by three probably it's not so well optimized but i can be uh, wrong um hence the design principle of our model is to enable these two critical features while avoiding hardware efficient operation specifically to have a global receptive field uh, we propose a su uh, we, we propose substituting the inefficient self attention with lightweight radio oh god radio based global attention okay by leveraging the associative property of max multiplication radio based global attention can reduce the combination complexity from quadratic to linear while preserving functionality in addition, it avoids hardware efficient operation like softmax, making it more suitable uh, for on device semantic segmentation. Uh, for, for the I, guess, I just need the figure right now. <laughs> yeah, because figure three. It seems like it's also, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, so so already. So so let's start with the figure one and, and then we do a second and three. Uh, okay. I have have left, you know, like like for mobile, I think it's even harder to benchmark compared to computers, right? Because like for iOS, it's okay. Like, because like more or less you have a limited amount of processors type, but for Android, like you have a lot of stuff, right? So here, I have let you know, like this mo mobile here is like a mean on different mobiles application or they just pick a random phone and test it. Uh, we're playing on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU. So this is something used for Android, um, the Snapdragon, uh, using TensorFlow Poo Light. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I can't, yeah. Hmm. I will let you know the, like, the, the difference in, in optimization stuff and, you know, speed, etc between you know do something with ios like with core ml or something you know with uh with android stuff uh so here we can see we have this is sec former this is sec next this is efficient vat and yeah it's yeah uh it's better i mean of course it has to be better right uh, on the yeah. on, on its paper be plots right it has to be better um yeah but i'm wondering why they're just using that because you know like hundred phones are kind of inexpensive in general compared to ios devices and you can also use your own phones like if you are a research team maybe you have i don't know six people in your team and each one of them will probably have a different hundred phone or like similar iphones right so why not just test on all of them, right? Kind of makes sense. Um, here we have the top Akura. Yeah, okay. Akura is always, uh, it's always, uh, I mean, yeah, you basically, you can see there is a speed up. And this is interesting because I guess here you have different model sizes, right? And like the latency is very linear compared to, to what the hell is this to, uh, okay, efficient net is shit, it's not efficient, uh, so, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, but the efficient net is from 2019, right? Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's efficient if you count the parameters, but the depth-wise co-convolution is inefficient, uh, yeah. because it's, it's, you know, you basically are doing, like, two times something that you can just do in one go, right? Uh, 
even if it takes more parameters to do in one go. Um, but this is interesting, like why they are choosing yeah, yeah, I mean, it, can, it makes sense, and come next as well. I, I would like to know the size here, right? Because I, I don't know, like, is this like, I don't know, 20 millions? This is like 40 millions? I'm, I have no idea. Um, okay. Uh, here are the, the, the zero level features on, on device semantic imitation, global receptive field, which is, I mean, Desirable, this is something that it makes sense to have to have it as a de desirable thing. If these things improve either performances, and usually it doesn't, right? Because convolution are usually, usually faster than do the self attention because you just need to do less stuff. And or per performances, but it's still not clear if having a global receptive field actually increases always always increases performances but uh, it seems like it is because you see efficient vit as everything so maybe it's something that increases performances i don't know I don't just know. by looking just by looking at the table yeah yeah i mean yeah yeah it's, it's like efficient vit is like packed of stuff so that's, that's <laughs> what you are looking that's for. everything it looks like uh usually uh, you know like uh if you go on any kind of tech startup uh, website and you see the table with the competitors and then the the startup that has all the green ticks, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, linear yeah, yeah. completion. Okay. Uh, linear completion complexity. Okay. Uh, and actually, you know, so so this is is nitpicking because I guess it's not true in this case. But if you're doing attention in PyTorch, uh, you will basically have some sort of very well optimized, optimized self attention. Uh, do we have a new joiner? Sorry. Uh, what it is? Uh, no, okay. Uh, yeah, hardware efficiency. Okay. Uh, so let's have a, I guess we don't want to look at figure. Or maybe we want to look at figure two very quickly to have some sort of high level point of view. Mm -hmm. We had the building block left. So input the lightweight uh, MSA, like uh, mass self attention, like right? Yeah. Um, or, or it's not multi scale? Uh, maybe it's what, the MSA. I mean, we'll know that. Uh, it, it has something. So this is now the MB block is something that is, is borrowed. Uh, by mobile net, etc, etc, yeah. um, you know, which I don't understand why they're still using that, like for mobile, it, it, does it make a sense? Because it's, it used the depth voice comb, right? Um, I, I do remember the MB comb, I mean, I hmm. looked at it. Uh, I have a, uh, I have an article about that, actually, a um, menu, um, let me see because I remember I, I wrote that at some point because I, I I I also you know I wanted to remember how this thing works, so I wrote an, an article so I can remember myself. Yeah, uh, so let me share my my tab. Uh, share my screen, change window, and we can see. Okay, so so let's go down and let's find the MB block. MB block. Okay, depth wise, no, wait, the full MB block, get into the MB block, okay, okay, MB block. So basically we have, okay, we go for narrow to, to wide with, um, uh, with, um, is this adapt wise, right? Com. And then we go wide to wide, I mean, wide to wide. And then, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So it makes sense. Uh, yeah, we apply one by one comb, then three by three comb, and then one by one. Okay, to okay, okay. It. So like, this is the depth wise part because you first do the depth, and if you see the groups are the, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this one the feature. So basically, we are doing for each channel like we have yeah, um, like independently because we have one group per channel, right? 
and then we have the one by one. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I mean, this is is smart because like you, you are not like doing the the depth wise just to do the depth wise. So you're basically doing the free by 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 free with this group. So you you save a lot of compute to do the wide wide part, and then you just do the inexpensive wide. I, I want to get him back to the original features. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So now we we remember and uh, yeah. Let let me change my window again and getting you back on efficient VAT. Okay. And this is I guess is the the lightweight MSA uh, left building block. Uh, okay. Right. After getting, okay, okay, probably yeah. So here I have no no idea where it where the right part is coming from. We need to continue uh, reading, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so here it was taking about uh, okay hints um, with design principle of our model. Uh, the design principle of our model is to uh, enable these two critical features. Blah blah blah. blah. Specifically, we have a global accepting free to propose. Okay, yeah, we had that. Uh, so we have value-based global attention can reduce computation, computational complexity from collaborative to linear while preserving functionality. Uh, okay, I don't know if Relu. So is this a new thing? Fast auto regressive transformer with linear attention. Two thousand and twenty. It's it's not new. So yeah, because like, you know, this is, so here they're not saying while preserving performances, but functionalities, functionalities, which I think it's an interesting choice of word, right? So basically it means that it works the same, right? Some degree. I don't know. Um, but what, what functionality means? I mean, actually. It, yeah. Yeah. It, so yeah, because like segment areas and, but. I don't know. We don't... Yeah, I guess like probably uh, it does not reach the same level of performances like accuracy and stuff. Otherwise, everybody, you know, uh, will be using that. If that were true. Yeah. In addition, it avoids hardware efficient operation like softmax, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but softmax, like you just. I mean, you don't need, even have to do it at a difference, right? You you can just take them. Ah, okay, but that for for classification though. Uh, but also for segmentation, you don't need to do the softmax for inference. You just you can just do a max operation, right? Like this this softmax is needed for training, or if you care about having some sort of let's say probability. Uh, but for inference, you can just take the maximum one and because the maximum one that you take from the row numbers will be the maximum one that you take from the softmax, right? Yeah, I mean, you can take the the maximum one will be the, the channel corresponding to the, uh, let's say, classes. Yeah, I uh, guess so... for segmentation probably will just like be on a, a pixel kind of level, right? So for that pixel, you just set the channel with the highest yeah, value, yeah. Yeah, with the highest, yeah, with the highest value, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the more a novel light, lightweight multi-scale attention model based on the ReLU global base global attention. Okay, so this is yeah. So like on top of this, on top of this, there is a new thing. Specifically, we. Uh, Francesco, we lost you. Yeah. Uh, is <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it seems like he's not noticing so.
Ya. Um, uh, right now I'm, I'm not able to, yeah, uh, to tell you the right thing because I mean, I have to look at something on the internet. I'm pretty tired. So, yeah. Francesca is, yeah, Francesca is reading the paper for us. <laughs> What what are you looking looking at for um the Oh, yeah. DW Con. Is it oh, of this wise? paper. Oh, okay. Um, let me see. Is it oh. Depth wise convolution. Yeah, I guess so. It should be that more. Yeah. <laughs> Francesco is still going. I mean, he's on fire. I mean, I don't understand if he, he noticed something or not, but it seems like he's going. You see? Let, let's see, one by one GC home. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, here. Yeah, I'm looking in another paper, but oh, what is that? Oh, group convolutions. Group convolution. But is there a way to tell Francesco that we lost him or, or not? How? Yeah, I dropped a message on him. Yeah, I did it too. Uh, 
but he's still continuing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like he's not not receiving, but but where are, where where are they using the the module in Figure Two? I don't understand. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. you build the, the final mask. That's why they say like it's multi scale, right? Hello? Francesco? Yeah. Yeah, we've lost you for, let's say, around five to ten minutes. Ah, uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, but, but you were still able to see my screen, right? Yeah, we were, yeah, watching you like going around the paper, but. Okay. Lost you, okay. So. so, so did you did you lost me before this or? Yeah, before this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So before this is useless. Uh, <laughs> they are just saying the same stuff. Um, yeah, I I don't know why I didn't like receive the uh, you know the sound from Discord from the messages. Uh, Ferrari. Uh, yeah. So. Um, Basically, this is the general attention formula where in the original one, you, you basically seem is this thing here, right? Um, yeah, and basically, so what uh, they are saying, if instead of doing this, you know, we just multiply the queries by the keys transpose. So we are going to have an, an F by F matrix because we are multiplying an F by D times d, d by f so we, we we obtain a matrix which is quadratic with respect of the input size right so they just say hey what what if we we do this thing instead uh i'm looking at this and like, like, like i'm like thinking like how how it is more efficient because we are still doing a matrix multiplication right yeah so how can this be more efficient like by looking at this i don't see any difference between the previous one like by, by the term of like the number of multiplication that you need to do if you're not counting the exponential right mm. okay so let's maybe maybe see can be rewritten as but maybe you have a lot of zeros in the matrix with the value right yeah but wait a second i in mean some i don't, don't think you will have a lot of zeros though like at the end so not during training but like at the end of everything What do you think? Can you hear me? Damn. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wait a second. No. Actually, they have simplified some things. So, really, QI is kind of cancelled both denominator and then denominator. So, it's left only the the V's and the K's. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, man, I, I'm too stupid. So, basically, here they are taking away T's from them because uh, it's always the same, but 
we could have uh, have done the same thing before, right? Right. Like, why having the ralu allow us to do this compare to have this thing? No, 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 wait, wait but the, the formula is the, the one at uh, Formula One, this one. Yeah. So what they're saying is yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is their form, let's say, of self-attention. And then they are expressing the theme which uh, the is issue like, is the uh, ah the issue is the exponential right yeah 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 the issue is the the exponential here right because here if we basically you know here we're basically going of course to calculate one number here right um Oh. And since we need the exponential, if we can like do. No, guys, they are not using the exponential. No, no, yeah, yeah, but but like, uh, I was thinking like, why going from this similarity to this allow you to go linear, right? And looking here, they're basically you know able to remove this from the, um, uh, like to put it outside because it's always the same thing right at the same point at the same time like why we can do the same the same you know, the same thing with uh with this one because like exponential yeah of it's a times exponential b, it's it's not it's not the same as exponential of a times exponential of b yeah yeah so so she, you, you, yeah, you, you it's cannot take that apart so. Yeah, it's the exponential part. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. And then here we do a bunch of fairly, I guess, normal stuff. Uh, and then we end up with, um, yeah, with this stuff. Uh, can I remove these two things, right, in theory? Yeah, because the index is not uh, related with the sun. Yeah, uh, we we'll need to compute this thing. Uh, to me, it's quite confusing uh, what they did actually. But how? So so wait. If we just need to compute this and that one, then we not need to have the queries, right? Oh, no, no. So, sorry, for this is just for the similarity. No, no. This is for all. Then why do we have the queries in the first place? Because like they are vectors, they are not scalar. No, no, so I, I mean, if I... So, I can't... I mean, here, in theory, I can remove this and this, right? Because they they cancel out, right? No, actually, they are vectors, so I don't think you can do that one. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, I feel so stupid. So I, I'm gonna gonna trust you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So let's say we we can't remove them. Uh, of course, it makes sense. Uh, but this is actually linear, right? At this point, right? Because this has dimension of f times d. This is d times f this f times d so here we're gonna have a, a d by d right and then we are gonna end up with an f times d instead of an f times f now the only thing that is uh, yeah yeah okay Does it make sense? Right? So, so, so wait a yeah, second. Yeah, I'm like reading again the, how they end up with the formula because... Okay, so basically I think the first step is uh, 
is okay, right? This is always the same thing. But then they are vectors, so wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, my, my screen is too bright. So there's even the property of pattern multiplication to reduce. Okay, so they are bringing v, uh, uh, vj up. Okay. There. Okay, I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Now, the, the other thing that... Yeah, it makes sense. What do you think? Okay, I mean. Ah, no, we no, can no, reuse no. them for each query. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. For each query, we always need to multiply by the same stuff, right? Qi is the ith row of the of the queries, right? Qi oh. is yeah should be the yes, ith row beca because, because like i is the uh, the yeah the it row of matrix. Oh yeah. Actually, like what you are computing here, so Qi times Aj transpose, it's a matrix, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah here yeah yeah the dimension yeah, here yeah, would yeah, be yeah. basically one times d right and this would be d times one yeah so 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 this is gonna be a number right runs uh i didn't hear you so well if you just say something But we are, we are doing like a1 x1 plus a1 x2 plus a1 x3. Uh, so you see the index is runs over j. The summation index runs over. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that co completely. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess this is kind of makes sense. So, uh, for the sake of time, um, so let's try m maybe to re uh, go like line by line, check the dimensions, etc. Right. Uh, so let me take a screenshot. Uh, we can draw on Figma, so it's kind of I guess more user friendly. Uh, so we can also draw. Uh, 
Uh, so let me wait. I need to bring the Discord up here. No, wrong workspace. Okay, Discord up here. Figma. And one sec. Come on. Okay, then I can share. Okay, and I can also. Okay, so. Where is the, the pencil? Oh. Okay, oh, so let me do that in. Uh, in blue, right? Or in green? Okay, so this is a uh, one ti times t, right? I'm gonna try to, yeah, D, yeah. So here we obtain a one by one, right? Like a scalar. Uh, same thing here. And here we want to do it for all the columns. I mean, for all the rows. Sorry, in, in K. And then we take we we took away that from there and what we are doing here we're bringing up the pj okay and that this is the associativity um, associative property well you know uh, multiplying this by this and then the result by by this is equal to to like this by this and then the result so this bad boy we bring it outside and then we end up with this stuff and basically here we have like at each step here right this is uh this is still one by d this is still one by d it's a matrix d no. by d the result no, no. I'm sorry 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 no but like K kj is the you're taking J transpose of yeah 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 so like yeah but like this is the yeah. j it's one row. by d yeah it's one by d then this is d by one right yes. and this is one by d okay okay yeah yeah so this is actually our matrix right this is a D by D. And here we also have, and here we have a D by one, like D by one, right? So I think there is some, I mean, this does not make so sense. Like this should be a scalar as well, right? Oh no, probably it doesn't have to be. My dimension are, are correct, right? Yes. Okay, so this again is one, one, it's by, one, D. one by D. And here we're going to obtain. I like. Now I just thinking so, what is D by D represent us? Uh, it's, yeah basically how much is yeah it's it's one of the you know it's important compared to to every one of the things in values um but if we if we here we have a one by d we can do this multiplic oh yeah yeah we can so here we will have a one by one right here we will have a one by d and basically yeah we are um yeah it makes sense like dimensional wise it makes sense because like at the end we need to have a one by d stuff right Now here a stupid 
question like what will happen in intuitively if I don't use relu at all if I just you know take, take the numbers as they are you know without having any sort of relu so here we are taking the relu only of the, the keys right yeah i think that it would be the same it still would work like i mean you can take any activation function i guess yeah apply it individually on qi and kj so yeah i was kind of wondering like, why the the relu specifically yeah um, maybe maybe we should also read at some point the other paper they probably have done some empirical stuff right um, but yeah so okay so so let's i guess continue uh because i want to to finish it uh but this is interesting this is very interesting uh but i mean do you think that this should be called attention though because i don't know if like like by thinking about it this is the same process that we are doing with attention though uh, thinking about that I don't know I don't know so let's go go back to the to the paper because I, I I'm curious to know also the other stuff that they that they put okay so 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 let's assume that this is oh, so okay so this it makes sense dimensionally and intuitively it kind of makes sense like to me I'm kind of I don't know a little bit misguided by what is going on like I I understand this from you know the matrix point of view but like basically here by doing this multiplication fuck on the 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 numerator here we are going to weight each element in in uh, in q by uh i don't know man i i'm too tired so if there is somebody here which is i mean for sure smarter than me at this moment uh maybe if you know if you think that you really understood this and uh, maybe you can share some some intuition about like why this is working like not from a match multiplication point of view because we know that it's going to work because we check the the dimensions right but like from a, a more abstract point of view maybe they say something later it's always like that right yeah, it's always like that. <laughs> uh, another key merit of relu based global attention is that it does not involve hardware or friendly operation like softmax, uh, making it more efficient. Okay, so this is why they were talking about the, the softmax, right? Because, like, yeah, with the, with the, the explanation and stuff. Uh, yeah, and then, like, you actually need to do a softmax of the, um, the, the attention matrix. Um, Figure three, figure three show the latency comparison between soft and relu based neural attention. Okay, with similar com computation, relu based neural attention is figure faster. Okay, it's faster. Okay, now they don't say anything, anything else. Uh, well, I mean, we can just continue uh, reading. Because I think that as soon as we finish t t t this part, yeah, it's gonna be over, right? Um, generate multi-scale tokens. Relu-based attention alone has limited model capacity. To enhance Relu-based global attention with multi-scale le learning ability, we propose to aggregate the information from nearby uh, keys, uh, queries, keys and values, 
tokens to get multi-scale tokens. The aggregation process is illustrated in figure 5, I'm gonna have a look in a second. This information aggregation process is independent for each uh, query, keys and values in each head. We only use small canvas convolution for information aggregation to avoid hurting hardware efficiency. Uh, in practical implementation, independent, independently executing independently executing this aggregation operation is inefficient on GPU. Therefore, we take advantage of the infrastructure of group convolution in modern deep learning framework to reduce the number of total operations. Specifically, all depth-wise comms are fused into a single depth-wise conv, while all one by y comms are combined into a single one by y group convolution. By the number of group group is three times the number of heads, uh, and the number of each channel is d. Okay, okay. So it means that you aggregate three tokens for for each ad, like from each ad all, all, all together, right? So so let's see. Okay, Q. This is head one, head two. No, okay, so this is, this is from the head one. This is from the head two. What the fuck is going on here? I don't understand this specific picture. So this, it looks but, like a no, they say, kernel, right? They say, hmm. So to uh, me, it, it makes sense here. Like, like to me, so the writing it makes sense because uh, the 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 queue that you're going to have uh, will be pet size, sequence, length, right? Uh, then it depends how you want to reshape it. But let's say head dimension, number of heads, and uh, yeah, and that, that's it basically. So maybe like a pet size and sequence length, head numbers and had dimensions and then basically you want to take so let's say free uh, free tokens from each head right and you want to aggregate them so if you use like between all the ads so if you use uh, three times the number of heads as group size it means that one kernel will be applied on on three by number of heads um, dimensions. I don't know how, how to say that well, uh, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so I guess, and uh, please correct me at any time. If we go back on Figma, right? And I have, where is frame? Come, come on, frame. Okay, so let's assume we have a bad size of one, right? I have this bad boy here. And let's say like this is the dimension for number of heads, right? Let's say it's we, we have like, I don't know, three of them, I don't know. And then, so, so, so like we say, we have the sequence length, uh, the number of heads. Oh, then, fuck, fuck, fuck me. I, I start to get, where is the, where is the damn, how can I remove stuff? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, so what would be the best raw representation in 3D? So let's see, this is our the dimensions, right? Uh, then we had the, the heads. And we have the dim, right? So, oh my God, now it's getting confusing. Oh. No, okay, I, I'm sorry, I, I cannot draw, draw, draw this. Uh, but like my, sorry, so like my intuition will be that if, uh, so assuming that we have one token, no, like we have three tokens. Oh no, no, no. Okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. 
this is the sequence length right and these are the tokens right and these are the I don't know the number How do we draw in a meaningful way in 3D something that has sequence number of heads like that can that may make sense and here we have the, the dims right um, so if you want to do groups comes that is basically I have a, an image or like you know something uh, height and width right and if I have I don't know four channels and I have groups equal to it means that I'm gonna use a kernel in these two for groups and another one in these two right by default commas a, a one single group it means that we just use a shared kernel right so my intuition here is that in order to aggregate the tokens between all the ads uh, we probably need to have fuck me, uh, we probably need to have the sequence length here okay so let's assume that, that like we have four tokens tokens right for uh, two heads and theme of four of four and we have four tokens so this is one two three four for two heads so we have two rows here and each token has a dimension of four so i guess this is four right now if i'm going to use a group group equal two it means that I'm going to aggregate the first two tokens for all the ads, right? Together. We, with the same weight, so with kernel 1. And then I'm going to do the same thing but with a different set of weight. And then maybe I'm going to end up with something that is similar to before. Ah, sorry, I make it not so similar to before uh, so let's just do the same thing uh, but now we have just two um, two tokens right does it make make sense or do you think it's all wrong boys I need some uh, some feedback here. Ricardo? No, I'm here, man. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was cleaning my dish. <laughs> my dish is <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. I think I have to review some things here because uh, right now, it, I mean, there are a lot of stuff that I actually don't remember, so I trust you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know I if this stuff. is correct, though, but I, I mean, to me, it makes sense. Uh, it's independent. Is this no okay? So if this is independent, it means that because like here we are taking all the tokens from like the first and second token from all the ads, right? 
But if we are doing it independently, it means that you know we we don't have a matrix that is li li like this, but we have something like we have hat uh, sequence length and d. I if the ads were true, it means that we have something like this. I guess I'm very shitty at drawing. So here we have two heads, h1, h2. The sequence length is the height in this case. So one, two, four. And then we have dimension of two. So then, so if then I just take the stuff here and I aggregate them somehow, then it makes sense. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is kind of uh, of co confusing in practice. But like here, basically, the uh, from the paper, the takeaway. No, why am I sharing? Oh, why did it stop? So the takeaway, I guess here is that we just want to aggregate nearby tokens independently from the heads. I don't know. Uh, and they they call this aggregation multi-scale tokens because basically they tell you about a bigger region in space right because you have more of one token you are basically like uh, putting together patch informations right can you go over the architecture again? Yeah, I think this one we haven't yeah. seen it yet. But why they call it efficient VAT? This is some sort of mobile net with this attention model inside, right? Yeah, because... Yeah, they, they have attention modules, so that's why they're calling it uh, VAT, but it's not actually a VAT. No, like, yeah, it's so like, T should be called, uh, you know... Efficient block or... If, yeah, or like, uh, other, efficient uh, attention. Uh, value, yeah, yeah, value... And, and let's go back to that. block, whatever. Okay, okay. Yeah, real global attention, okay. Because, of course, it... Yeah, but why they call it BIT? I mean, it's not a visual uh, visual transformer. It, it is not a visual transformer. I never remember the name. If it's vision or visual, I think it's vision. Uh, so yeah, so here we get, we do okay. We get the queries, keys, and value. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. Yeah. We get the rate of global attention. Then, yeah, and and yeah. As you can see here, we are re reducing the number of tokens, right? So we do one with the three by three, and we also five by five. If the kernel size is bigger, it means that we get more sequence length, right? So we get more tokens. No, no. What, what what does it mean in this case? I, I if this is a bad size um, sequence length number of t the dimension, but this is not actually if we do that independently, it means that if we have a three by three uh, kernel independently, we're gonna run that on this. This is like in t t this case is gonna be a one d uh, com, but in the real one because you also have the number of heads gonna be 2d i guess it means that you're gonna run a three by three on uh... ah yeah yeah okay no 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 okay it makes sense the number uh, of groups will dictate how much uh, tokens you take i mean you aggregate with the same weight and the kernel will just you know slide and do its own thing uh, I'm not really sure why having why you want to have a five by five kernel. In that case, uh, why do you have to have a five by five? Uh, 
Uh, and and uh, uh, sorry, I'm going back. And then you put all of this together. See. Oh wait, and then you do so another. Like what they're doing here is that that you have let's say the upper side which gets let's say features let's say from all let's say all the um, uh Q and value whilst the other ones are like reducing the feature yeah. space so they go let's say uh i don't know how to say in english for now uh i don't know how to say <laughs> I, 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 I sorry say yeah. say 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 that again in Italian. Uh, eh, no, not granulare, eh, vanno. Ah, ah cazzo, eh, raggruppano no, eh, <laughs> parti di uh, qui, query key and value together. Eh, uh, yeah, no, but, but, like, I mean, do you agree that this do not make a lot of sense, right? Because, like, with normal self self attention, you don't care about. Uh, you know, multi-scale stuff because you are able to attend on everything at the same, like, at the same time. So, like, you, like, you, like, you are able to see everything in all the patches at the same yeah, time. Yeah, but, yeah, but maybe, maybe since they need to, let's say, yeah, to uh, boost up their performance. Yeah, efficiency, they need to, let's say, gain <laughs> performances with other branches. That's yeah, yeah, but, 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 like, so, Relu club attention is not as performance as the uh, the, the self attention. Otherwise, you wouldn't need to do this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But and then they they see what C means. They concatenate. They concatenate. And then they feed that to, okay, okay, so then the linear layer will be basically able to see everything for, from all of these scales, right? So here, like, you have a very, like, here you have the original scale, here you have a higher scale, even higher scale, right? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's say they're doing, like, the YOLO stuff, you know what I mean? The big yeah, 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 like yeah. From different scales, that's what they're doing, maybe? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, like, I, I guess it's similar, it's but not it's for like, the same intent, but yeah. it's similar in uh, in concept, I guess. Yeah, but it's the same as UNET, right? Because you have, like, information from different, I mean, feature maps at different scales. I mean, uh, I guess segmentation mode, mode so, so like are the, basically the same in this sense. The UNET stuff will be basically be here, like, from the left, you get all the, all the features from, from one, two, three scales, right? And yeah. then, uh, and then here, I mean, yeah, but just, you, just, you just, just have a head here. To, yeah. yeah, just the idea to bring, in, to bring like features from, let's say, higher dimensional space to lower dimensional yeah, space. Yeah, it's, uh, to, it's similar to Inception, though, if you remember, like the old model from Google, which you had all these branches uh, using a different kernel, and then you, you know, like to get features from different, uh, like of different, special size somehow uh, um, yeah and then you sum up them and then you do the head okay so okay i guess we, we more or less caught it so let's see if we have how do they okay so let's see if they have some test in which they remove some part of the model uh, yeah I would like to know the comparison with something like a uh, rep VGG wait a second ah no wait wait fuck I, I I was looking at the at the, the the paper on the browser. Sorry, so I'm, I was looking at this thing, right? And the, 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 there was a paper 
from Apple a year ago that is called Mobile One. And you closed the stream, by the way. Really? Yep. Oh, damn. Okay, so there was a paper from Apple called Mobile One, and in which they chart it's a plain convolutional model, and they do this some trick to reduce the number of of matrices of ma matrices and um, residual connections that you have, and I would like to see if there are some comparison. Uh, we okay so let's see here we um how much parameter do do the smallest one and this is train on the on image net right yeah this is for classification i guess they do yeah, yeah, a but, lot of but this uh, is charge yeah. just train on image net right let's see that one yeah on yeah, image net classification yeah. Okay, nine me. Okay, this is very good. Like the mobile one from Apple, but I will. I think that that will be faster uh, than, than this one. But the mobile one uh, from classification from Apple, uh, something that is comparable. So ten, so ten million uh, is seventy-eight dot one. So this is uh, way better. Um, but yeah, I really so like. But yeah, but like. This is specifically for, for segmentation because we have the head here. And consider that you know having t this connection here also increase the the inference speed because like you need to keep these things in memory, right? And then, then you need mm -hmm. to be able to, to fetch them from memory. Um, so here we have the backbone. Back, yeah, this is the one that we just saw. And Oh fuck, this is the input resolution. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I mean, this is already, really very big. Uh, look at this. So like, this will be huge. Uh, speed up also on, uh, on GPUs, right? Because yeah, like, like the if, 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 if you look yeah, at the parameters, yeah, so and and the oh and the max God. yeah <laughs> look at I, this but yeah look at the uh, d plus b3 plus yeah but that's a big boy yeah i know but look at the the um, the metric yeah yeah it beats like the d plus b3 plus oh my god yeah See, this is yeah, this is uh, very nice on A twenty K. So let's see A twenty K. And sec next probably was some sort of segmentation model built up on 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 uh, come next. And yeah, I mean this this is great, right? Is there any PyTorch implementation? <laughs> so they talk about TensorFlow Lite. So yeah, this is also another thing. I would like to know on GPU. I'm going to share the code. Um, let me. Okay. We know. I can see an export to Onyx. Okay. Yeah, on an export. So, oh, okay. So, okay. First of all, so let's give merit when we need to do it. So requirement is there. And Tom. Yesterday. Yeah. Tom is there. Export to, to an ex uh, GG. 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 Even a Git in your. Wow. 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 And. <laughs> Meta, sh yeah. Meta should take inspiration from this. <laughs> or or via probably. And the release models. Uh, efficient VAT. Oh, this is in PyTorch. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. This is very, very, very nice. Types. Types. Nice. These are great guys. Yeah. 
Tira there, this it's going on. I mean, something's going on. Do you think like um, I have a Mac with M1 Pro? Do you think? Um, I mean, I have a um, segmentation uh, library that I built on my own. I mean, I just uh, wrapped something around, but maybe I can try it because I have my uh, side project. I mean, just to, just playing around. Yeah, but probably so maybe if... I can try this model. It's it's going to run on uh, on the GPU. Uh, sorry, on the CPU probably. Um, uh, well, maybe uh, with some tweaks you can uh, run the model on GPU. On the M M MPS GPU. I don't know if that is possible though. Uh, but this is very good. This is very good. Also, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Yeah. I have to go in ten uh, because I actually need to call my girlfriend because <laughs> I <laughs> I always doing stuff in the evening. <laughs> so so yeah. So she was like uh, like uh, probably like uh, we can call today. And I was like yeah I have a, a paper reading but then then later we can and and I I say to her it's gonna be a fast one because the model seems easy. <laughs> was not really true yeah but this is crazy so you know so from from which uh sorry from which um let's have a look uh, i i want to look at the profile okay i'm gonna follow this guy so the uh these guys Follow them. Okay. So they focus on uh, on efficient stuff. That's interesting. Sparse and they have a lot of stuff. So look at this. Uh, let's see. Sparse VAT. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good. I, I, I mean, we have to do at some point a benchmark, uh, at least on GPU, like all, like on Nvidia one, of this model exported in Onyx, or maybe or we can just run it on PyTorch. I, I don't care. But it has to have something uh, against a couple of of other things, I guess. So they also have code for training. Tough, I guess. They have a training.md. Okay. I mean, I'll have some time off. Maybe I'll give it a shot to um, bring the model to the Mac, to the, M um, to the uh, M1 Pro. Let's see how it, how it goes. I'm curious. I mean, if it's efficient, let's see. I mean, it's called efficient VAT, right? So, the speed of train on GPU. Uh, plus core trainer. Because I'm able to prototype segmentation model, models on my Mac, but I mean, this one, if it works, maybe I can try a proper one. So. Yeah, uh, so let's look at the license as well. So let's see if it's... Uh... It's Apache. So it's good. Mm -hmm. More or less. Okay. Nice, I mean, this was very interesting. I'm sorry that uh, Sebastiano who proposed it actually was not able to join <laughs> but at least we have our recording this time yeah but it's, it, it's not an easy paper i mean the last one from lecan was easier to me yeah 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 uh for this one there were there was a little bit of 
like stuff that was going on i guess yeah like probably to really understand this we should put a debugger point in the forward parts and have a look right um but yeah uh maybe the next time because like now i have to go uh, yeah go to your, your girlfriend yeah yeah i mean and actually you know i'm i i am an heir so i don't have a Rolfe, you know, I it was just an excuse to go and play Minecraft. <laughs> no, <I'm> joking. <laughs> cool. Uh, thanks a lot um, for joining. I hope it was interesting. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Like for me, it was interesting indeed. Uh, I learned something new today. Like the real uh, <laughs> self attention. I had no idea that it was a thing. Well, cool. So have a nice one. Uh, see you on the next one, I guess. See you guys. Bye, guys. See you guys. Mr. Bye, Robot, bye. bye. Oh, for Mr. Robot, it's uh, it's building itself. Bye, guys. Bye.